should credit this intro like over a thousand times and I'm just, I'm done. If I mess this one up, it's over. I am back with a new video after four months of being YouTube dead. I was in the process of moving and I finally got everything situated and settled down. It was so hectic. Last video I made was back in January and it was the recent purchase and product favorite video and I was supposed to be making one every month since then but because I was moving I missed out so this video is pretty much going to be a catch-up video and it's going to include the products that I've collected and absolutely love. It's not going to be everything I purchased because if I did that, oh, we're never going to leave the screen. It's still going to be a very long video so if you don't want to watch it, please don't. If you're not already subscribed, please click that red button down there and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. So let's get into the video. It's a lot. Part one, the Kylie Lip Kits. Oh wow, that one needs to go backwards. The Kylie Lip Kits. I don't have all of them. I only have five of them. I believe she has like seven or eight. My favorite ones that I totally love right now are a Candy K. It's the perfect pink nude ever. And it's just like an everyday lip color. My second favorite, I would have to say, is Court K. This one is like a dark, dark, deep purple. It's so pretty. It's like that perfect purple right before it hits black. This next one is 22, which is my next favorite one. This one is like a orangey toned red. Like the camera's picking it up red, but it's, it is a whole lot of orange in there. It's very pretty. It's a really nice summer and spring color. There's Posey K, which on me, it pulls a lot of purple. I don't know why. It's like a purple pink color. I mean, I like it, but it's not my favorite. The formula with all these is what makes it so amazing. It's so, so, so matte. And it stays on so long and so well. This, the next one, oops, the next one, which is my kind of my least favorite, is the color Dolce K. Um, it's a very nice color, but on me, I'm not explaining it. It just doesn't turn out that good on me by itself. Like, I have to add a gloss over it or something just because if not it makes my lips look like just so bleh and i don't really like it but it's still a good color don't get me wrong first one is like and like is the darkest of all of them it's a very universal shade it will go with the palest of skin color to the darkest and next is literally and that this one is a bit lighter than this one this one is so perfect as well it's so pretty on the lip especially if you mix it with like candy cake and you mix this one <sighs> the last one is so cute and this one's the lightest of all of them this one i can't these two i can do by itself i can wear just just a gloss and i'm fine but so cute i can't really do it because it comes off so so pale light pink on me and it makes my lips look ashy but glossy which is weird to pair it with something else like i have to put a liquid lipstick on these are so good like i said uh the brushes though i'm not a big fan of really let me just show you the formula in the lip kits and the lip glosses are spot on. I'm just so this is how the packaging looks in the inside, and this is how the brush looks. So the brush right now is behaving, but as you can see, I don't know if you can see it. Shoot, but do you see the little hairs poking out? And that's very difficult because when when you're trying trying to like precisely apply it, it's impossible because that little hair that's sticking out is dragging product all over your mouth. As long as you have concealer to conceal whatever you get here, it's fine. So yeah, I would totally recommend her products. The next ones, I'm going to do glosses just to get out of the way, is the Anastasia glosses. Kristen is like a mauve pink. And I love the brush in this. It's just a regular doe foot brush and it's so easy to apply. Her glosses are so, so pigmented and so pretty and so moisturizing. They're perfect. And this one is Tara, which is a terracotta nude. Very freaking pretty, guys. These have to be my favorite glosses ever. And since we're on 
Anastasia. I'm going to introduce the two new lip shade, uh, liquid lips. This one, this first one was Vamp. I don't have this one, and I've always like kind of strayed away from this color, only because I didn't really like it at first, because it's a really like it's a really dark red, as you can see, super dark, but it's super 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 pretty. I I mean it's not an everyday look that I would do just because it's a really dark red but when you want to go all glammed out and go for this shade it's so pretty and the next one that I went ahead and got too was one of her new spring shades or summer shades or whatever this one is Ashton <laughs> when I saw this on her Instagram it was over I knew I was gonna buy it and I had to have it it's like a I want to say like a almost like a terracotta nude just very 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 nude like I don't know I don't know how to explain it it's 3 in the morning I'm trying to get this video in and I, ca I can't think straight right now <laughs> I keep thinking like but yeah it's so pretty and it's so long lasting and so moisturizing next one is the two new shades by Gerard Cosmetics and this one is 1995 liquid lipstick is just like it just even better I'll do like a comparison later on in another video for you guys but yeah this one is everything nice and I think I like I think I might like this one way more than 1995 because it's so pretty look at it look at that and if you have me on snap you would know because I made like I don't know 10 videos uh snapping about this and the next one is dose of colors new shade and it's the shade cork oh my god it's a very pretty yellow toned brown so pretty and I don't know if it's just me but their formula and their liquid lipsticks were so amazing to begin with and it's like they improved it even more like this is a matte liquid lipstick but it feels so moisturizing on your lips to where like you would think it's not matte but when you wipe it like it doesn't move, it doesn't it doesn't transfer or nothing. It's absolutely matte, but it feels so moisturizing. Like it's crazy. And this one is the Urban Decay Beats Beached Bronzer in the shade bronze. And this is um from their newest collection they had come out. And there's I their new bronzers, they had two shades come out. There's one I think called Sun Kiss or Sun Bathed or Sun Something. And that one was way too light on me. But this one is their second color. And it's the darkest color they have. And it's bronze. Let me show you what it is. And it smells like... It smells like... Like caramel to me. I don't know. It smells so good. But it's this color. And look at the packaging for a second. Look at that. I had to get this. Even if I didn't like the product, I'm still going to keep it. Because look at that packaging. It's so pretty. I think I might like this more than uh, Benefits Hula, which is crazy, because that's my ride or die. But this is this is pretty amazing. So the first foundation I want to talk about is the Makeup Forever HD foundation, and I had to stick first because that one I like. I saw all the YouTubers rave about, so I wanted to try that one. I, it's tolerable, but it wasn't my favorite. But their liquid foundation is amazing guys it's so like it's i don't have words for it but anyways it if you're going for like that dewy look believe it or not this really 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 gives you that look which is going to be the case with all these foundations I'm about to show you and mine's in the shade one two three y three six five Next one is Cojun Doe, and I had tried this one out because Jaclyn Hill was raving about it for the longest time. And oh god, this is amazing as well. Like for a whole week, I was like mixing these two together. I don't know why, because they're both full coverage foundations, and that's just piling on more, more makeup on my face. But it, this is so awesome, guys. Like if you're looking for a very, and I'm gonna say this again, very, very, very dewy hydrated 
healthy looking makeup look go for this foundation if you're in the market to kind of spurge on a found on a high-end foundation go for this one and the next one that I have to show you guys is the Tarte um, Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. And this one is a very hydrating and dewy looking one as well. And if you're not wanting to go and spurge on a more expensive one, this one is a bit more affordable than, the, than that one. Can't talk today, guys. Sorry. Um, I am the shade Medium Honey, and if you're running, wondering in the Cojun Doe one, I am a shade 143. Hmm, 143. Yes, this one is really good. I actually really love the new line they had come out, the Rainforest of the Sea. It's just so, like, the for one, the packaging is freaking pretty. It's like ombre purple, and... It's just, I feel like this line is so moisturizing. Next one is Becca uh, Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. I'm in the shade beige. I keep it in the box because, well, I don't know why. I'm just weird like that. And this is how it looks. It's kind of almost, almost similar to this one because it's, just, it's the same thing. You, like, press the button and you pull it up. And this one is... Like I said, it's luminous. It lives up to its name. Recently, this one has been my favorite one. It actually has bumped Makeup Geek down a bit. Because this one is freaking awesome. It's so, so, so luminous. All these foundations are, if you haven't noticed. But this one, it really is. And it's so pretty. And look at the, I mean, look at the packaging. It's frosted. And you just like pop it up. Well, I mean, first you shake it, you just pop it up, you un you squeeze the button, and you pull it up. Yes. So awesome. So, those are older foundations. The next ones I'm going to talk about are eyelashes. These I bought from Flutter Lashes online. Uh, one of them, which is Crazed, they are the newest when they came out of came out with get together is um the one on my eyes and they're so pretty i'm gonna get up real quick i'm gonna get close real quick so they're these and they're so so pretty and i believe this one these two are like 9.98 pretty cheap and the next one uh, not cheap, but affordable. And the next one is a Slayla. I haven't worn these yet. And these are so pretty as well. I'm going to give you kind of a sneak peek. Look at them. So pretty. So those are those. Those are the lashes. And next product is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Eyeliner. Glitter Eyeliner. And this one is in the color Midnight Cowboy. This brings your freaking eyeliner to the next level. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is that when the product settles, you can see like like little holes in the product. And I don't like that because it makes my, pro my product look empty. And I know it's not because I rarely used it. I haven't used it that much yet. So if you're in the market of buying a glitter eyeliner for whatever reason, try Urban Decay out. Specifically, try this one out because it can go with any color. The next one is the Anastasia Brow Definer. I know I talked about this one in the last video, but this one is a new shade because the last shade I was using is dark brown because that's the shade I've been using for a long time, even with the pomades. But I switched over to chocolate. <sighs> okay. I feel like this one suits me so much more because with the other one, it was making my eyebrows look so, like, just so dark. And, yeah, it's chocolate. Please go back in your box. I don't know why I keep certain products in the boxes. It's weird. Highlighting kit. And the first one is the Tarte uh, Rainforest of the Sea Skin Twinkle. Yeah, palette. And 
looks like this. I'm going to show you guys because packaging is so pretty. You see that? So pretty. And you open it. And as you can see, I've been digging into it. Yeah, I'm not ashamed. But yes. This is it. It comes with a mirror. I am trying not to blind you guys, but those are the shades. Okay, so everybody who did a um sorry my nose is itchy. Everybody who did a review on this product didn't like the middle one. I personally really like it actually. I mean at first I didn't because I tried it as a highlight and I was like, what the heck? This is not doing anything for me. It really isn't. But then one day and I did I did this by mistake. I I was highlighting my cheek and I accidentally started from here. I don't know why, but I was like, hmm, okay. So I went and just highlight the whole area down there. And it is a really good setting powder. Like, it helps. Like, if you put, um, I can't think right now. If you put concealer on and then you put, like, a setting powder still and it's still kind of creasing on you, just apply this middle one and it takes it right off. I'm not even kidding. For me, that's how it works. It do, it helps my creasing so much. And let's, we have the other two, which is called Sunlight and Moonlight. So pretty. If you're thinking about getting this palette, get it. It's not anything too, like, disco ball in your face highlight. It's very subtle. Like, it's just natural glow on you. It's like an everyday highlight. This is what I use actually for like work. And the next one, as you can see me holding, is the Anastasia Glow Kit. And this one is the That Glow one. I wasn't really a big fan of the other one because there's a lot of like pink shades in that. So this is how it looks. So pretty. Like I love all these shades. At first I didn't know if I would like the bronzer that much. But yes, I love it. This one is very, like, her formula in this is so, so amazing. Because you can use it as, like, a very subtle highlight like this one. Or you can build it up. It's freaking A1. Like I said, I'm a big packaging freak. I have to keep everything the way it is. I don't know if it's weird to you, but I'm sorry. Next is, and this is the last product, I believe. Oh, no, I have two more. The last product I'm going to tell you now, it is absolutely amazing and I'm just smiling talking about it because I'm so happy and it is the Amani M.U. freaking A palette. Yes. Oh my god guys. This was a freaking headache to get my hands on but I finally did. You can wear this to work then bring it and you want to go to like, I don't know, go out right after work just bring this and you're set the whole day um if you have not been able to get your hands on the palette i totally 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 suggest you guys go on makeup geeks site and search his oh my god my freaking monkey ears are showing and go on their site search for his palette and sign up for the email not notification right away because that's how i did it last two products is uh, Scandinavia, the Scandinavia setting spray, and this one I purchased because I saw a video uh, that Salt made, Alicia Tyree, and she basically made a like eye look on her arm, and she sprayed this on it, and she freaking ran her arm underwater, and it was still there, still there. So I was like, yes, I gotta get it, and it does work. I sprayed this on my face earlier this morning, and then it was. Freaking raining cats and dogs, and I didn't have a rain. I didn't have a umbrella or a raincoat. I was trying. I was gonna say like a rain umbrella coat or something. <laughs> I didn't have any of that, so I had to walk in the rain. And look at my makeup. It's so good. It's still there. It's like so affordable. So go buy it. I don't know if they have any codes right now going on. I will look. And I will leave it in the description box if they do. Next up, and this is the last product, is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And this stuff, okay, so I saw so much YouTubers rave about this. And I saw that Kim Kardashian uses it to get like that glow. Because she's had very glowy, healthy looking skin. It's so freaking pretty. I kind of ripped the ribbon 
and it works so good so good like if you were to use a dewy foundation and a and a strobe cream and like just go with a old together dewy look and you spray this on your face after you are gonna look like the healthiest skin person alive it's so good and if you don't mind spurging on it then by all means buy it I was really surprised before I had uh, started carrying it too. Like I was so excited when I saw it on their page because I was looking at this for the like, longest time on the website, on Tasha's website. But then I was like, no, I don't really don't. I don't know if I want to spend that much on a, on a you know face mist. But when I saw it on Sephora, I was like, you know what? Might as well just spurge. Why not, right? My bank account's gonna hate me, but my face is not. That was the last product, and we're finally in the ending of the video oh I have a whole lot of freaking editing to do like this freaking video part that I made is 20 minutes and the other one I think is like 15 minutes so I have a lot of editing ahead of me but I hope you guys enjoyed my video and love the products because they are all amazing if like I said in the beginning of the video if you're not subscribed please 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 subscribe I would love that and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.